there is a new Mario Kart Wii mod that has brand new features never seen before in Mario Kart modding. So today I'm going to show you three different ways to play Mario Kart Mayhem created by Saucy, with those being using the Dolphin emulator, using Revolution on Wii or Wii U, and lastly if your disc is too scratched or if your disc reader does not work at all, I'm going to show you how to play without a disc using the ISO patcher. That way you can play it on USB Loader GX. And yes, all three ways allow you to play online, and I'll be streaming this game, hosting friend rooms, and stealing your VR in Worldwides. Saucy's also going to be streaming it, so make sure to check out his Twitch, which is linked in the description. So let's get into it. First off, if you're going to play on PC or a handheld of any sort, you will need Dolphin installed. I'll have my setup guide linked down below. If you're playing on Wii or Wii U consoles, you'll need them modded with custom firmware. If you don't have that set up, I will have links down below for you to get started. No matter how you're going to play, the first step is to go into the description and go to this wiki page for Mario Kart Mayhem. This is going to have our download and all the information you need regarding the mod. And here you can see all the features including prolonged rocket boost and blue shell hop dodging. They, those come from Mario Kart DS. And there's even a never seen before game mode called Mayhem. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with this game mode. It feels like the balance is perfect. Feel free to look over that, but the download link is going to be on the right hand side. Just click Google Drive link, it'll take you here, currently it's version 1.2, but this guide will work on any version, so download that, download anyway, and once that's going you can exit out and go back, and if you're interested, Saucy also has a Discord server where you can get updates on the mod, or even request features. I do know that people who sub to him on Twitch do get a different icon in game, which is pretty cool. Now that we have the mod, let's open up our downloads. And then go ahead and extract it. So right click, show more options, 7-zip, extract to. And then we can delete the zip file. And then this is the folder that we're gonna be using for all three methods. So now I'll show you how to set it up on Dolphin first. If you're here for another method, check the timestamps and you can skip ahead to the method you need. So we'll keep this open and then also open up your Dolphin emulator. And to set this mod up, you do need the base game of Mario Kart Wii already set up. But once you have that, we're going to go to File, Open User Folder. You should see all of these. Go into the Load Folder, and you should see a Revolution folder. If you don't, you can just go ahead and create that. Make sure you have a capital R. Go inside, and here, we're going to go back to our downloads, and we're going to go inside of the MKM folder, where it has Revolution and Mario Kart Mayhem. And we're gonna highlight both and just drag them inside. I'm gonna copy and paste because I'm gonna show, because I'm gonna need these folders for the other methods. But just make sure those mod folders get inside of our Revolution folder. So you'll see in the Revolution, there should be a Mario Kart Mayhem.xml file. That, we're gonna have to remember that for later. We'll minimize that for now. And back in Dolphin, we're gonna right click on the Mario Kart Wii game and start with Revolution patches. Now mine automatically finds the file, but if not, press open revolution XML and then just navigate to where we had it. In my case, it's in app data, roaming, dolphin emulator, load, revolution. So you can follow those paths to get there, but it's wherever your dolphin files are. Go inside your revolution and just click on the XML file and press open. Make sure under pack it says enabled. And then another option is to create a preset. So we're gonna save this and just call it Mario Kart Mayhem, press save, and you should see, if we exit out of here, you should see our preset right here beside Mario Kart Wii. So now all you have to do is load inside. Holy! And there we go, we're loaded into Mario Kart Mayhem. You can go ahead and create your license, and then you can go to MKM Online. And there we go, we're on. This mod uses Ninja WFC. But now we have it set up on Dolphin, so it's time to move on to console setup. And if you're wanting to play with me on stream, make sure you add the friend code on the screen right now. So I'll be setting this up on my Wii U's virtual Wii, but same steps for the Wii if that's what you're on. And before we do this, you do need the actual physical copy of Mario Kart Wii in order to play it this way. But if you don't have that, don't worry, skip to the next method and you can play without a disc. Go ahead and plug the SD or USB that your apps are on for your modded Wii. So with the download on the left, I'll put my Wii U's SD card on the right. And before we place this on, you do need Revolution, the app. So if you don't already have that, I'll have a link down below and it'll take you here where you can get the app. So scroll down and for Revolution Zip, just download the file. 
It'll be really quick, so let's go back to our downloads. Let's open up the Revolution Zip, and then just drag the Apps folder onto the root of your SD. I already have it, so I'm replacing. But now that you have Revolution set up, you can delete the zip. And now we'll transfer the mod over. So open up the mod and just highlight everything and drag it inside to the root of your SD. We'll let that transfer over. And then just hit replace files in destination. And then you'll see inside the Revolution folder, I have a lot of mods right now. But now that that's transferred on, we're ready to go onto the Wii or the Wii U's virtual Wii in my case. Now we need to load into Revolution. I have a channel forwarder right now, but if not, yours will be in the homebrew channel. So start that up. And then I'll also show you how to get the forwarder channel. So now go ahead and find Revolution and load that up. And if you don't have the Revolution forwarder channel and you want it, just go ahead. You should see install here. But if you want that channel on your Wii menu, which I do recommend, it's much easier. Just press install and it'll install it just like that. Perfect, now we can go find our mod. So I have a bunch of different Mario Kart Wii mods, so I have different pages. If you only have Mario Kart Mayhem, that's all you'll see, but let me go find it. All right, here's Mario Kart Mayhem, and I will say if you also have multiple mods, you do need to have all of them disabled, apart from the one that you wanna play. So Mario Kart Mayhem, make sure it says enabled and that all your other mods are disabled, and just simply press launch. And then it should load into the mod. And there we are. And you may have to create a new license for this mod. So go ahead and do that. And now you can go Mario Kart Mayhem online. It would help to be connected to the internet. Let me go and plug my cord in. And there we go, now we're online. So now if you do want to join my rooms, check out the friend code on the screen. And then I'll make sure I have open host set up and then you can join me on stream. Or you can just hop into a worldwide. But there's the first console setup. Now let's move on to the ISO patcher. And the last method is going to be the ISO patcher. So back on the wiki, underneath the mod download, you'll get the ISO patcher download. So we'll download that. Click download in the top left. I guess they recently changed that. Can exit out. And we'll just extract the ISO patcher here. Show more options, seven zip, extract two. Can delete the zip. I'm just going to move this onto my desktop. So open up the ISO patcher folder, drag your Mario Kart Wii WBFS file inside, and then we're also going to put the mod inside as well. So go inside MKM2 and highlight both and drag them inside of the ISO patcher. Exit that. Now before we patch it, we need a couple tools. So linked below, you'll find these pages here. So under WIT WIMS ISO tools, we're going to scroll down and we're going to grab the download. I'll be grabbing the 64 Windows zip file, so download that. We can exit there, and there's one more we have to get. We need to grab the SZS download as well. So 64 bit again, grab that. All right, we got those, you can exit out, extract both of these. I've actually downloaded these before, so they're in a different area, but here they are. You can delete the zip files, by the way. So go into the WIT folder, and we're gonna run the install exe. Press yes when Windows prompts you. This page will come up. It's quick, but it did say done. If you see this, just say this program installed correctly, it should be fine. Go back and open up the SZS folder and we're gonna run the Windows install exe again. Press yes when Windows prompts you. It will go ahead and install that. There's the done. If you get this prompt again, just say this program installed correctly. But now we can exit out. And before we go and build the file, we actually need to restart our computer so that those programs we installed can actually work. So I'll restart my computer and I'll be right back. So back in the ISO patcher, now we have everything we need to do this. And before going forward, I would highly suggest reading the README text. It tells you how to do it, but it also tells you that it is fully experimental. If you have your game backups on an SD card, it probably won't work. USB drives and hard drives are preferred for this sort of thing. And if you're doing this to play online, it has to be on the latest version. So right now it's 1.2. If Saucy puts out an update for say version two, then you have to repatch the game to get that latest update to be able to play online again. And he also says, comments are highly welcome on the video you found this. Hmm. I wonder what video that is. But with that out of the way, let's patch it. So we have everything we need. We'll run the bat file. 
it'll open this press enter another warning won't work on SD card only USB devices press enter again select the number for the region that your base game is mine is USA so I'm gonna press 1 and enter if you have an ISO you can use that but I have a WBFS so I'm pressing 2 and then enter here you have an option to use your original Mario Kart Wii save or you can make a new one. So this is your preference, but I'm gonna go with a new one and press two, press enter. If you're worried about size, press one to replace, but if, you're, if you have lots of space, press two. It'll give you a rundown of your settings, so if you made any mistakes, you can go back and change it. But once you've confirmed it, press yes, continue, and enter, and it will go ahead and patch your game. And that's a lot of files. All right, there we go, once you see this, just press enter to continue and in the new image folder you should see a new WBFS file that is your patched game so you can leave it as is or you can rename it so that you don't get confused so just do MKM and then I do recommend putting the version so 1.2 maybe a V in there and that way you know what version it is and if it's compatible with online but now you can go ahead and set this game up just like any other Wii game I will use Tiny Wii Backup Manager real quick. If you don't know how to use Tiny Wii Backup Manager, you can also use Wii Backup Manager, but I have a more in-depth video. I'll link down below. I won't go into detail here. I have it transferred on. I don't think there is a custom cover yet. That may change, but now I can head over and play it on USB Loader GX. So let's go test it out. All right, let's load into USB Loader GX. Using the forwarder channel, if it's anything like Retro Rewind, it does require that. But I think most of you would have it if you followed my guides. I usually include it in every USB Loader GX setup. All right, we are on. It's not a custom banner, but the name is obvious, Mario Kart Mayhem. So let's load it up. And there we go, Mario Kart Mayhem. Let's just make sure online works. <laughs> if you're wondering who this is, it's the guy that used to own this Wii. I haven't changed anything yet. <laughs> so let's try online. And it is nice, it also tells you the version in the top left. And there it is, we are connected online. So now you can play with us online without a disc, which is really cool. I know I have a couple Wii's with a broken disc drive, I don't want to pay to fix it, so this is a workaround for that. Just another reminder, if you want to play with me on stream, add the friend code that's on the screen right now. I'm also going to have it in the description. But there you go guys, I hope it was able to help you out, and I hope to see you on the tracks. Thanks for watching, stay funky, and happy modding.